What's happening, podcasters? My name is Sebastian Rusk, and I help marketers and entrepreneurs just like you launch successful podcasts. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly what it takes to transcribe your podcast. I'm also going to explain why you should transcribe your podcast and what the direct benefits are by doing so. Let's get started. So let's talk about why you even need to transcribe your podcast in the first place. Well, the need to transcribe your podcast is so that you can repurpose your podcast episode into other pieces of digital content. For example, a blog post. So you record your podcast episode, you send the audio version off for transcribing. I'm going to explain how to do that in just a minute. You get the transcription back and you add an image, you put a title on it and voila, you've got a blog post. Content piece number two. Or some platforms, depending on which one you use, here at the Podcast Launch Lab, we use a platform called Pippa.io. You'll see a link popping up on the screen for that right now. Pippa allows us to upload one file. It allows us to have it submitted to Spotify, SoundCloud, and it creates a, a YouTube video. That's right, a YouTube video of your podcast uh, audio episode. It's also got a transcription service all within the within the same platform. That's why we love Pippa.io. Shameless plug right there. But there are other services out there that do it for you. Our second favorite, or actually our favorite regarding captions, uh, transcriptions, etc., is Rev.com. R-E-V.com. You see that popping up there on the screen. So all you do is you upload your audio podcast episode to Rev. And within 24 hours, usually quicker, you get a transcription of everything that was on that audio. You can do the same thing with the video too. Well, why do I want to do this? Again, repurposing the content, taking the transcription, allowing you to create a blog post, taking that transcription and putting it into the description of your YouTube video, putting it in the description of your podcast episode. All of these are very SEO, for those of you not familiar, search engine optimization friendly. Google loves long, in-depth, accurate descriptions of the content that is being put uh, into its ecosystem. So number one, SEO uh, benefit of there. Number two, repurposing content. Uh, number three, uh, it's very, very simple to do. So again, rev.com. You can also do uh, closed captions too. Uh, rev.com. So if you wanted to be able to, you should do because 80% of videos are consumed uh, without sound, which I'm not not going to ever understand that. But we're living in this digital world where we're constantly like this. And I guess maybe you can't turn the sound on sometime. But rev.com allows you to create uh, custom captions too. So you upload the video and they just send you the captions back. There's a little bit of technical work there because you've got to upload the caption file into your video. But for purposes of transcription, rev.com, very simple to do. So record your podcast episode, send the audio file over to Rev, you upload it right on their website, you, you add money to your account, 10 bucks, 20 bucks, whatever you want, and they charge you a penny minute to transcribe it. They send it right back to you and you can go in there and you can tweak it and edit it however you'd like. And they're about 99% accurate. I very, very rarely ever see a mistake there. So it is, um, it is an automated machine and system that does it. So there is room for error there. So you always want to go through your transcription and make sure that everything uh, says exactly what you said. There are some words that could be misconstrued, but based on our experience here at the Podcast Launch Lab, outstanding service from Rev.com. They don't pay us to do that. We actually pay them to do the transcription and close captions for us. So to recap, trans, uh, transcribing your podcast episode allows you to repurpose content. It allows you to have an accurate description for SEO purposes on your videos and on your actual podcast. And you can also take bits and pieces from that transcription and maybe create memes and pictures and go to canva.com and do whatever you'd like. But you've actually got everything that you've spoken on your podcast episode now in an actual Word document. And you're creating a blog post and you've got your descriptions. It's very powerful and it's very cost effective to go and do. Now, could you hit play on your podcast and type, 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 pause, type, type, sure. Rev.com has you covered. So if you're not currently transcribing your podcast episodes for your descriptions and to be able to repurpose content, well, what are you waiting for? With this video, you should know how just to make that happen for your 
podcast. Hey, do you have any questions about transcribing your podcast or repurposing content or anything pertaining to uh, podcasting or anything you see on this channel? Go ahead and comment below on this video. I respond to each and every one of you lovely people. It is my distinct pleasure. And of course, if you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the little bell next to it. That way you're gonna get nifty updates every time a brand new video drops here on the channel. Thanks so much for tuning in and we'll see you next time.